Look to God your good deeds from nafs and shaitan Seek refuge in Allah and follow the Quran Look to God your good deeds from nafs and shaitan Seek refuge in Allah and follow the Quran Refuge in Allah and follow the Quran Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Anbiya wal Mursaleen أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله My dear viewers of Madani Channel Welcome to another episode of program The Protection of Good Deeds In the previous episode we heard about the hidden sin that voids good deeds, meaning the desire for praise, and also heard about its disadvantages. In today's episode, we'll explore a sin that can consume our good deeds and gain an insight into it in order to stay away from it. But first of all, let's listen to the excellence of Durud, the final Prophet of Allah. Sallallahu Alaihi wa alihi wa sallam has said, Whoever recites 1,000 durood upon me in a day will not pass away until he sees his place in paradise. Sallu ala al-habib, sallallahu ala muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. My dear viewers of Madani Channel, as you know that in each episode of this program, we hear about a sin which voids good deeds. All the apparent and hidden sins that we discussed in this program were the sins which were generally related to every person. Today, the sin which we are going to discuss is the sin which is related to women, and that is ungratefulness to the husband. Ungratefulness to the husband is such a sin which destroys good deeds. The final Prophet of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi wa alihi wa sallam has said, When a woman says to her husband, I have never seen any goodness in you, her good deeds are destroyed. Allama Abdul Rauf Munawi Shafi'i Rahmatullahi alayhi states under this hadith, it means that if a person denies the favors that Allah Almighty did to her through her husband, her good deeds will be voided for her punishment, meaning she'll be deprived of the reward until she corrects herself and acknowledges his favors. The intention behind this noble saying might be to caution women and instill in her a dislike for such a behavior. If indeed the situation reflects the truth that the wife never received any goodness from her husband, then she would not merit such warning. Where ungratefulness to the husband causes good deeds to be voided, this sinful action is extremely condemned in ahadith as well. While describing the eternal disadvantage of this ungratefulness of women towards the husband, the Holy Prophet wasallam said, When I peeped into the paradise, most people were poor in it. And when I peeped into hell, the majority were women in it. Moreover, once the Holy Prophet wasallam addressed women and said, O women, give charity because I saw the majority of you in hell. The woman asked, what is the reason behind this? The Holy Prophet ﷺ mentioned two reasons. One, you curse and reproach others a lot. And two, you show ungratefulness to your husband. Women who consistently display ungratefulness towards their husband in every matter, not only hurt their spouse, but also jeopardize their own good deeds. Additionally, by engaging in such a behavior, they commit the grave sin of causing harm to others. Sayyidina Mu'az ibn Jabal radiallahu narrates that the Holy Prophet wasallam said, When a woman hurts her husband in the world, Hurain says, May the Lord Azza destroy you. Do not hurt him. He is a guest to you. Soon he will leave you and come to us. Unfortunately, because of the distance from Islamic knowledge, the majority of women in society often show ungratefulness to their husbands. No matter how much the husband strives to support and treat them well within his means, women frequently respond with ingratitude instead of patience and appreciation. This ingratitude not only carries eternal consequences, but also presents itself in profoundly dire worldly outcomes. Women who are ungrateful for their spouse's efforts face consequences even in this world. And shaitan achieves his goal because one of his major objective is to create discord between a husband and wife. It is stated in a hadith that Sayyidina Jabir radiallahu anhu narrates that the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, Satan meaning shaitan spreads his throne, then he sends his armies, 
amongst those armies. The most mischievous devil is the closest to shaitan. One of them says, I did this or that. Shaitan says, you did not do anything. Then another devil comes and says, I did not leave so and so until I caused a separation between him and his wife. Hearing this, shaitan makes him closer to him and says, you are brilliant. Sayyidina so, you know, Imam Aamash rahmatullahi alayhi states, I think he said, Satan hugs him, shaitan hugs him. Therefore, women should promptly repent and express gratitude for whatever situation Allah Almighty has placed them in with their husbands. In worldly matters, they should consider those who are less fortunate, which can inspire them to cultivate patience and gratitude. Sayyidatuna Asma bint Yazid radiallahu anha states, once the Holy Prophet وسلم, said to women, avoid being ungrateful to your benefactors. We asked, what is meant by ungratefulness to benefactors? He وسلم, replied, it was possible that a woman from you would remain without a husband for a long period of time with her parents and would grow old. But Allah Almighty granted her a husband and blessed her with wealth and children through him. And despite this, when she gets angry, she says, I never saw goodness in him at all. Unfortunately, in our society, most women are involved in ungratefulness. As soon as they see a rich family or the expensive clothes of a woman or precious jewelry, they begin to show ungratefulness. If we delve into the life of Sayyidatuna Fatima to Zahra radiallahu anha, we discover that even while grinding corn with a corn, causing blisters on her blessed hand, she remained constantly grateful. Despite times of hunger within her family, she never uttered a complaint or grievance to her husband, Sayyiduna Ali radiallahu anhu, unlike other women. Sayyiduna Ali radiallahu anhu says, she never got angry with me, nor did she disobey me in any matter. And whenever I used to look at her, I would find her relieving my grief and suffering. My dear views of Madani Channel, even if we encounter such a hard situation in life, we should remember the life of Sayyidatuna Fatima to Zahra radiallahu anha and display patience and gratefulness. Demanding luxury and comfort from the husband in such a delicate time causes suffering to increase. And remember, the ungrateful behavior will not only ruin the marital life of a woman, but it will also put her hereafter at risk. Our beloved Prophet wasallam says, I saw that there was a majority of women in hell. The Holy Companions ridwan, asked, Ya Rasulullah wasallam, what is its reason? He wasallam, replied, they show ungratefulness. Someone asked, do they show ungratefulness to Allah Almighty? The Holy Prophet وسلم, replied, they show ungratefulness to their husband and deny their favor. My dear views of Madan Channel, we've heard that ungratefulness to the husband is such an action that destroys the reward for good deeds. It destroys the hereafter and in the world, the situation reaches up to divorce. Hence, what is safe is that the women should get rid of such contemptible sin of ungratefulness. To refrain from this sin, it is necessary to think about the warnings regarding this sin. While playing the role of a pious and exemplary wife, women should be grateful and obliged to their husbands and consider the pious and well-mannered husband a bounty of Allah Almighty. If they face poverty or encounter difficulties at any point, they should endure with patience, always expressing gratitude. They should develop a mindset that Allah Almighty has bestowed happiness upon us in life. And if we are currently facing challenges, He will surely relieve us of them. In such circumstances, the wife should not reproach her husband in any way because showing ungratefulness to the husband is also ungratefulness to Allah Almighty in a way. Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu narrates that the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, La yashkurullaha man la yashkurun nas. The person who does not show gratitude to people does not show gratitude to Allah Almighty either. The greatest benefactor for a woman in this world is her husband because he bears the hardship of the world and worries about her living for his family. He sacrifices his comfort, satisfies the hunger of his wife and children, and provides them with a shelter to live in. Hence, the wife should support the husband on every occasion and should not let him lose heart by showing ungratefulness to him. Sometimes the women who are grateful to the husband and the one who show ungratefulness to the husband, they are given a return right in this world. So let's listen to the narrative regarding this point. Hence it is narrated that after the marriage of Sayyidina Ismail 
once Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam went to see his family whom he left in Makkah. Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam did not find Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salam in the house. When Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam asked the wife of Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salam, she replied, he's out in search of sustenance for us. Then Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam asked her about the financial condition and living. So while making a complaint, she replied, we are in bad condition and suffering from poverty and hardship. Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam said to her, when your husband comes, convey my salam to him and tell him to change his doorstep. When Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salam came, he smelt a familiar fragrance. He asked his wife, did someone come here? She replied, yes, an elderly person came. He asked me about you, so I told him about you. Then he asked me about our financial condition, so I told him that we are suffering from poverty and hardship. So then Ismail alayhi salam asked, did he advise you? She replied, he said salam to you and gave the message that you should change your doorstep. He alayhi salam, meaning Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salam said, he was my father and he has ordered me to separate from you. Hence, you should go to your house. Then Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salam divorced her and married another woman from Banu Jurham. After that, Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam did not visit Makkah as long as Allah Almighty willed. And then he visited Makkah again and went to his son Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salam's house and asked his wife, where is your husband? She replied, he has gone out in search for a living for us. Then Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam asked her about their financial condition and living. So she replied, we are all right and prosperous, alhamdulillah, and performed the hamd of Allah Almighty. Then Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam asked her about their food and drink. So she replied, we eat meat and drink water. Hearing this, Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam made the supplication, O oh Allah Almighty, grant blessing in their meat and water. The Holy Prophet wasallam said, those days they did not have grains. Had there been grains, he alayhi salam would have supplicated for it. And then Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam said to her, when your husband comes, say my salam to him and tell him to maintain his doorstep. When Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salam came, he asked, did someone come here? His wife replied, yes, an elderly person with a beautiful face came. He asked me about you, so I told him about you. Then he asked me about our financial condition, so I told him that we are in excellent condition. So then Ismail alayhi salam asked, did he advise you? She replied, he said salam to you and gave the message that you should maintain your doorstep. Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salam said, he was my father, Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam, and my doorstep means that he has ordered me to keep you with me. My dear viewers of Madani Channel, it does not befit the wife of a prophet to complain about little sustenance. In fact, she should remain patient and grateful. And since the wife of Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salam showed ungratefulness to Allah Almighty, therefore Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam ordered Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salam to divorce her. Where it was ungratefulness to Allah Almighty, it was ungratefulness to her husband too. Because the sustainer is Allah Almighty and he makes the husband a source of sustenance. So you know, Ismail alayhi salam's second wife showed gratitude to Allah Almighty and did not express any ungratefulness regarding Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salam. Therefore, Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam advised his son Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salam by the permission of Allah Almighty to keep his wife in marriage to him. We learn that only the wives who are grateful to their husbands are close to the court of Allah Almighty. Regarding such a pious wife, it is mentioned in a hadith that the entire world is a provision of life and the best provision of the world is a pious woman. Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan Naimi Rahmatullahi Ali writes, the woman was called the best provision because a pious wife makes her husband pious. She is from the eternal bounties in the commentary of Rabbana Atina Fid Dunya Hasana, Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu said, O Lord, grant us pious wives in the world and great hur in the hereafter and safeguard us from the punishment of fire, meaning an evil wife. Just like a good wife is the mercy of the Lord Azzawajal, an evil wife is a punishment from the Lord Azzawajal. My dear viewers of Madani Channel, in today's episode, we heard about the action that destroys good deeds, that is being ungrateful to the husband. Indeed, for a happy family, a peaceful husband and a grateful wife are necessary. May Allah Almighty enable us to lead our lives according to Islamic principles and safeguard us from contemptible sin like ungratefulness in every condition. Ameen. Bijahin Nabil Kareem. 
صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم صلو علی الحبیب صلی اللہ علیہ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم